Hello everyone, Manathrall here. Welcome back to another RuneScape episode uh, for the weekly update video. Uh, this week, the update was a new version of Nex, the Angel of Death. Now, with this, there did come a few new items. I did check into it before I made the video this way. Um, this way, I kind of knew what was going on before I actually just went and kind of just went, blah, this is what it is. Uh, but there's... A new codex, I think it's called like Prazel, uh, if my enunciation is wrong, I apologize. Uh, I'll probably have a link down below what the new items are, uh, but there is uh, a wand, and I heard, now I don't know if this is true because I didn't see it myself, but the wand and an orb. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the new prayers, um, they seem pretty good, but they do have an area for uh, maybe a little bit more well desired but depending on what you do they can be extremely useful I mean they are level 99 prayers and I'll start with the melee one which is malevolence and instead well it greatly increases melee now I know you'll say well this is very similar to turmoil uh, turmoil just it increases it and it does drain and increases over time, but this is supposed to greatly do it. So it's supposed to do it even further than that one. So it, if you find a good method to do it, it could be extremely useful. Uh, but it greatly increases melee attack, melee strength, and melee defense by a fixed amount at the cost of the overhead slot. Drains the enemy's melee attack, strength, and the excuse me in defense over time and now what they mean by overhead like if you're familiar with uh, soul split protect from mage protect from melee uh, you know those kind of abilities reflect those things right there that's the overhead slot uh, that they're referring to when it comes to the prayers uh, but also there's the desolation which is the ranged version and then you also have affliction which is the mage version. Now these are all 99, so they do all drain pretty, pretty hard. Uh, now I will say I do have, I did put in for it. It is currently, you know, valued in the GE at si ooh, close to 16 mil, and I have about 40 mil put into it, and I just I'm not able to buy it. Uh, but there is the wand. And if you're curious to see, you know, this, keep in mind, this is release day. It's going to be a lot higher than probably even a couple months or well, a couple weeks from now. So do keep that in mind. Uh, if you want, I, I'll even show you here for the spelling. Uh, it's called the Prezul. So right there it is. And right now, the wand is selling. And I'm kind of curious of what it actually, like, you know it probably has some sort of special effect because it just says it's a powerful one imbued with each of the four ancient magic stones so that would mean blood ice uh, smoke bah I'm not sure uh, what the fourth one is but uh, that could be potentially very useful it, there could be like added elements, added special things to this. So, but right now it's almost 160 mil for the wand, but it is a level 92 item. So do keep that in mind if you're looking to get that wand. But now we will head over to the actual update itself because it is a group boss. Um... But what you have to do, how you start it is, you have to go to God Wars Dungeon 1. Uh, you have to use the Frozen Key to enter the Ancient Prison, just like regular Nex. And once you're in there, you will enter like the bank in the lobby. And you have to have a kill count of at least 40, or wearing the Ancient Ceremonial robes. And then, instead of going to the regular Nex way... You got to enter the hidden door that is south of the, well, yeah, 
enter the hidden door on the south wall of the bank lobby area. So there, you got the regular next, I believe it's to the east, and then this one will be to the south. Uh, the requirements for this is 60 agility and 60 strength. It does say the high combat levels and your best gear is recommended. It, uh, I forget which mod it is, I'm very sorry. <laughs> but he said the comparison to this is right up there with like Telos and, you know, Virago, those kind of bosses. So it's like right up there in that category. Uh, now, as for like what you really need to have with you, uh, it says they did say you wouldn't need anything more than you would require to be kill the regular Nex. Now, of course, you know, your first few times fighting it, probably not going to be as easy. Uh, but it is also supposed to be a group boss. Uh, of at least, I believe it's at least like two to three is the bare minimum. Uh, but you do want to have more. Uh, so it does say there is no 10 player cap or killing chain. So, but you do need to have, you know, a, a few things done. So, there is some little bit of requirements. Now, it does say that there is a new curses. That's what the appraisal codex is for. Uh, there's a battle robe overrides, and there is supposed to be a bunch of ancient lore stuff up for grabs, and then also um, the wand and possibly an orb. I I didn't see it in the database, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist because it just could be uh, under a name that I am unsure of. It, it might not actually have orb in the name or appraisal. So that is a possibility, so keep that in mind when you're looking for this stuff. Uh, otherwise, there's not really much going on. Uh, that's the only update this week. There was some patch notes, which I'll be going over those pretty soon. Uh, but now for live streams this week, at 1700, Tuesday, January 31st, there is February the month ahead, which, of course, you know I'll be... Covering that no later than Friday at the latest. Uh, hopefully at the latest. There's a little bit of reasons behind that. Um, but Friday on the 3rd at 2100, there's also community time with Mod Shawnee. Uh, on February 5th, 1900, there's PVM with Mod Lee. And then there's a Snapchat takeover with Mod Wolf. And that is on Thursday, uh, February 2nd. So those are the streams that are this week. Now we will head off into the patch notes. So the patch notes, there's not a whole lot to it, but there is some. Uh, the biggest one is being to the NXT client. Uh, but now for skills, D&Ds, and minigames. The daily challenge to create 184 fire runes, fire runes can now be completed on free worlds. Other, the unlock all permanent effects from death store option on from requirements tab of the completionist interface now takes into account the latest death store rewards. Examining a player's tiny death pet will now state how many soul reaper assignments they have completed. A quick chat bubble Icon has been added for the Raids Puzzle Quick Chat Message. Examining degraded, tradable variants of player imports armors will no longer show an incorrect cost if an interface is open. Uh, speaking of pets, uh, this is just a small little recommendation I would have to Jaggets, uh, but I would also have a way, and this could be a Ninja Fix, but this way people could actually have it set to where uh, it shows when they got a pet. Like with the boss monsters, uh, let's say you killed uh, Grador and you got his pet within like one to two kills. It would be nice if they could actually have it set to say that as well. Not just, hey, this person killed this many 
like actually show that because that's kind of a big achievement. Uh, but back to the patches. Last week, hot fixes. Uh, the new disc store rewards are now requirement for the trend completion escape, an issue which causing the deathmatch lobby to occasionally allow PvP combat has been fixed. And the Shadows Gorilla emotes now use the same or now uses the same camera shake effect as the jungle gorilla pet. Ninja fixes are provoke has ch been changed to substantially more effective. Uh, the destroy empty bowls option in the miscellaneous settings window has been modified to include pots, cake tins, pies, dishes, and buckets. Uh, players may no or oh, players may now toggle the ability to have legacy mode skin while using the non-legacy interface mode. NXT. They fixed some rendering issues, crashes that might appear on older drivers or graphics cards, improved appearance of water at extreme camera angles, added support for SSAO uh, in compatibility graphics mode, added support for particles in compatible graphics modes, uh, fixed water refraction on compa compatibility graphics mode, uh, fixed particles not interfacing with Bloom, Fix protesting Edgeville guards. This also fixes the old issues seen with stretching bones. Uh, there's a, they do say here there's a new NXT launcher update with this as well, which includes the following. There is an added added an auto update feature to the NXT launcher for fully for Windows, partly for Mac, and not required for Linux. Added the ability to open multiple clients on Mac and added a, added a do not warn me again option to exiting the client when logging in and added a do not warn me again option on the graphics card malfunctioning warning. So now it is a good news for those who don't well, haven't been using NXT but want to use it uh, with the fixed rendering issues and crashes for the older drivers and graphics cards that will actually be really good news so do keep that in mind um, but that is actually it for the patch notes that is it for the update uh, I did have the appraisal codex up here just in case anybody was really kind of curious but that is the correct spelling, and I will actually have that in the description below for you guys to see. This way you guys can see the spelling and go from there. But if you search for appraisal, you'll be able to bring up the wand and the codex just easily. Uh, as for the orb, I personally, like I said, I didn't see anything for it, so I don't know exactly if it's called something else. But, you know, could be. Uh, otherwise, as far as the channel goes, uh, there is possibility of soon to be some more. Uh, basically, I hit a snag when uh, building the new computer. Uh, how I'm going about it with the people that are working on it. Uh, there was a few compatibility issues. If you guys are familiar with some of the things with computers... Uh, basically what happened was we got it. We finally got everything that I needed to be able to do this, but in the process of doing that, it was overlooked by, uh, some of the computer techs that I have that are working on this. And it was, it was an oversight. It was a small one, but it was an oversight. And that was at the CPU that was purchased, uh, did not really actually have 100% compatibility with the motherboard that was put in and what has to happen is I have to use a different CPU this way I can update the BIOS this way we can get the new CPU to work with that motherboard so it's not that they're not compatible it's just until the BIOS gets updated I can't really use that new rig and then once we get the new rig completely done, we should be all right with the BIOS. And then 
Sorry, there's a hair in my mouth. It was disgusting. <laughs> Tried to ignore it. But yeah, so that'll be coming pretty shortly. Uh, but what that means is tomorrow uh, I should have a few more videos coming up. Uh, and with any luck, starting Wednesday, depending on how things go, I may or may not have new videos for that. Not well. I think I'll have still a couple quest guides yet left, so there will still be more than likely a couple videos for that day. But the only other thing is, like I said, I need to get. There will be basically it's going to be an awkward kind of week for recordings and updates as they go along, but it should be okay by the end of the week because my one tech guy he is used to the hardware, while the other tech guy is used to the software, and so I have two tech people doing this computer, and tomorrow is going to be the hardware, and then Wednesday is going to be the software of making sure the temperature cores stay good, uh, making sure everything's good and everything's running smoothly. And tomorrow will be the hooking up and updating BIOS and stuff like that. So that should all be pretty good pretty soon. So thank you guys so much for your patience, and thank you so much for watching. And until next time... Later, guys.